Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, Yotas Guru demonstration video. I'm Pierre from Yotas Guru and I'm here to help you check out uh, every functionality that we have on the tool. How to validate a content in Yotas Guru? Let's say you're a writer and you have uh, some guys that you've uh, worked on, you have um, added some content and you, you want to check uh, with the uh, content manager, if uh, if that's okay, uh, or the SEO, if that's okay, uh, you want to go to your guide. So let's go to uh, how to make a margarita pizza. Uh, as you can see, the score is okay. The DSEO is okay. Uh, there is an, nothing uh, to uh, to add here. You've even added the title and the meta description. Um, you may want to click on the little arrow uh, next to analyze and you may ask for validation. So you click on asking for validation, you may want to add a comment if you want. Um, and here you go to, you're going to say, uh, is it uh, good for you? Uh, send it. You'll see it appear uh, in the comments section on the right hand side. And the uh, thing is, the content is going to be locked for everyone to edit until uh, you either uh, cancel the, um, the request or um, it's uh, approved or denied uh, on the uh, content management uh, hand side. Well, either uh, if the content management um, approve it, approves it, actually, it's going to stay locked because uh, if it's approved, then you don't need to uh, edit it anymore. The, if you're a content manager or SEO uh, and you want to uh, um, approve or deny the um, the, the approval uh, request, uh, well, the, the validation of the content, you're going to go here and click either on the green or the red button, depending on uh, with a tick or the cross, depending on uh, whether you want to decline or approve it. Um, and you may either... Uh, add a comment. For the writers, these buttons will not appear uh, depending on the um, on the level of their uh, account. If they are invited, they may not want to. They may they may not uh, validate or uh, invalidate uh, the content. It's up to the uh, managers. Now, uh, let's say I want to um, I want to cancel the validation, so decline the validation. I'm going to have it here. Uh, I have the um, rejected uh, the, the approval rejected here, and uh, there is a little um, notification that uh, goes off um, right here. Uh, and you may even see it here in the table for the content. So you can see a red cross appear when it's not validated, a uh, green tick appear when it's validated, or a question mark, a yellow question mark appear when it's uh, pending for approval. So yeah, that's all. That's how you validate a content uh, in your test guru. So feel free to to uh, use this functionality as uh, this feature as uh, as you want. We will see each other in another uh, video about your test guru's features. Uh, until then, have a nice day. Bye.